Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and here we are going to say goodbye to this world. That's right, I'm going to be giving up on this one because this is this was basically my test world where I looked around and saw what it is that could be working here. As you can see, airship's working fine. I put some I put an Oculus up here and I did a little bit of research so I could get to dig, but of course that needs that requires that I go and uh, make all the stuff to make spells. And see, towards that end, I have been collecting stuff. Just flying around, ch checking stuff out. Died a few times, got some more hearts. Here's some books, I've, pages I've picked up. All the weapons and armor. Miscellaneous. Minerals. Food. I see here, and I'm cooking up some steaks and some smooth stone because I was planning on going ahead and continuing in this but in talking with Thad and CD Arena we're just going to go ahead and uh, restart the multiplayer server and I'll just play exclusively on there. So let's follow this down real quick and I'll show you what else I've been up to. Oh, going down there um, I did make the mob spawner so let me go ahead and show that real quick. Do, 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 do. You know you guys never ask me comments or questions. So it's really hard to think of things to talk about all the time. So just, you know, a good few questions would be really nice to help keep me think about what I need to say, as opposed to, you know, stuff that... If you want me to say it on the on the recordings, then let me know. It's here. I went to explore it up that way. But down here is where I set up the bomb spawners. This is the zombie one. Go down. Thump, 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 thump. Here's where the mob spawners are, and the spawner itself is up there. You can see it. I'm waiting for it to spawn something. Should be dark enough. But in any event, that one's not very productive. This is the second mob spawner. Do you guys remember the? Uh, so there was a skeleton spawner over here, and then there was a dungeon over there. Well, both of those are skeleton spawners. So I went ahead and set this up so that water comes down here, and with this block they can't see me when they fall down. But eventually... Come on. You can see I put a sword down here. This, this sword actually does more, almost more damage than this one. Let's check. get over here so they can see me for a second because sometimes you need to lure them out. Hey guys over here. Okay so there's a skeleton. Six damage. No, that was five damage. Another five. And you can see that that damage is just it doesn't do a, a lot. This is almost a pure iron sword I'm using now. You just grab stuff. Yeah, but this provides me with ample supplies of uh, bones and arrows. Let's go ahead and beat on this for a little bit. There you go. Anyway, you see how that works. And I could close it off by putting a dirt block there and I was protected from anything trying to sneak up behind me. I don't know if that zombie spawner ever did do anything. It's probably the slowest zombie spawner I have ever encountered. So after I made it, I was just like, wow, this is a disappointing output. Skeleton spawners I'm much more pleased with. Now, we shall continue out. Did I bring food? Of course I didn't bring food. Oh well, we're not going to be playing much longer in here anyway. Let's see, didn't do much downstairs except for do a little bit of uh, branch mining. I know some don't like it, but it's, at this point I was actually needing a couple of diamonds. Oops. Let's see, anything up here? I never did grab that uh, cave spider spawner, amusingly enough. Let's see here. Oh. Over here I started making this to try to catch endermen because I wanted enderpearls for these dimensional doors. 
we'll investigate that in a moment. Towards that end, this was how I was leading Endermen to their doom. It wasn't terribly effective. I didn't kill even a single Enderman this way. Let's see, that's where my gold section is. This should be... Yeah, you can see this is all nice and filled up. Ah. So this would have been another source of uh, income here, or resources. Let's see, what else did I do? Oh, well, I was up there. Let me show you. Oh, you should have seen that large cleared area. This is just another area I was trying to clear out for a separate reason. But I, start, I cleared out all of that with water. Thank you, CD, for reminding me I could do that. See, I've just got a little bit of gold in here. Let's see, this one is almost got a little bit of iron. Let's see, what else have I done? Oh, let me go ahead and show you these. There's nothing in this one here. Bloop. Oops. So you can see the grass coming from the overworld here. But there's nothing in this world. I haven't put anything down. Except just now. Over here was where I was attempting to set up my magic area. It seems like a good use of space. I mean, it's nice, it's open. But I died in here. That's right, I ended up dying in here because when I went in, there was over here a Hecate. And apparently it was close enough to where it followed me in. So when I walked in, I was like here and went whack. Something was hitting me, I couldn't see it. I was swinging my sword, couldn't hit it at all. And finally died. And when you die in, lim uh, d die in this pocket dimension, you go into limbo. In fact, let me show you what that's like, since we're not going to be coming back here anyway. Do, 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 do. I need something to light myself on fire. And I'm going to need something to survive the fall. Let's see. I don't know if there is a way of surviving the fall with what I have. No. That's not going to work. Let's see. Maybe I can make a quick parachute. Parachute? That's not a parachute. Alright, so canvas, which is sticks and string. So we're going to need lots of string and a couple of sticks. Alright, where is my. Oh, in here. I was trying to make a uh, table, but I never ended up having enough feathers. Is that right? I need three. Well, it looks like I need more sticks. So here we go. Three of those. Parachute now. You know, this would probably be a much better parachute. So let's go ahead and grab one of those. I don't remember what kind of parachute that is, but we'll just put that away for now. Actually, you know, this might be a good backup. I need wool. Do I have wool up here? Nah, I think so. Let's go down and make some. Oh. Ah, using a different mouse right now, so bear with me. That's enough to make two wool. I need three wool. There we go. Now it's three wool. I'll make this over here. Now I'll go back to. No, I need to make it over here, and then bring it up top. So we got the wool. I'm not sure how a backpack one of these things works, so we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it out. Okay, so that goes there. Yeah, can I put that on? Yes. Wonder if it wonder if it works automatically. I don't know, we'll find out. And this is going to be the emergency where if I throw, if nothing happens, 
then I'll just throw that. All right, let's see. Did I ever, I did not make the flint and steel. Let's go ahead and put the stuff that I'm carrying in here. No, you know, this is a storage facility here. All right, so we're gonna go in. Because if you die, you don't lose your stuff in these alternate dimensions. Let's watch. Ah, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning. But apparently this doesn't go out either. It's kind of handy. And we're dying. And here is Limbo. You can see you start falling from 700 blocks up. Now we're looking straight down. Nope, that didn't work. But anyway, very briefly you saw what Limbo was like. <laughs> Let's see. I guess the thing doesn't operate automatically. It must have to make a pull cord or something. Let's try again. I did survive once. I can say that much for myself. Let's see, going up. Grab that too, just in case. Let's see, I'm gonna need one of these and I'm gonna need string, which I don't have. I think I'm gonna need a pull cord. Cord. Two iron and string. Okay, so I'm going to need at least five string. Five, eight string. There. So this should be sufficient. Oh, here's some string. Wait, that doesn't go there. All right, so let's see here. Maybe one piece of iron for the pull cord. And we're gonna go ahead and try putting this back in. And I've got no way of killing myself again. I should have thorns or something. Yeah, I think I've got some thorns in that upstairs, although the fire might still be burning. We can go check that out. So it's been a day and it's coming up on night. What did I come up here for? Oh, thorns. Not in there. Not in there. Where did I put the thorns? I would have sworn I had thorns. Why do I have raw rat in there? Yes, I know I'm not coming back, but still, it, I'm, I'm <coughs> feeling very obligated to get that done. I don't see any way of hurting myself. Oh, wait, here's a w way of hurting myself. Why am I taking the safe way down? Oh wait, there's a heck eh? Let's see if it followed me in. Oh wait, there it is, see? You can notice it on the grass. Where are you? You're around here somewhere. Did it disappear? Cause the thing like chased me all over the place earlier. Okay. Setting myself on fire! Setting myself on fire! Ow, ow, ow! Okay, come on, keep burning. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Do I have, hey, I've got a balloon, or a parachute. So I'm going really, really slow now. I'm gonna burn to death again, aren't I? 
Nope, apparently not. Let's see here, let's look around a bit. Wow, okay, you know what, this is going to take a lot longer than I had thought, so I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> come back whenever something's changed. And I'm back. Although nothing appears to be generating in the world, except for critters here. It looks like something's getting injured down there. Let's see here, but this is Limbo. And as you can see, over there is the is a hell cow area. Let's try to go this way because those hell cows are not fun. Let's see. Somewhere around here is where I died. So there should be a chest or a bag on the ground. This looks like giraffe. Hmm. There should be a loot bag somewhere around here on the ground, around here on the ground. But yeah, I ended up with a really unlucky world here, because as you can see, it's just full of hell cows. And they always want to kill you. Let's see if I can stay alive for a little while. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh wow, the whole neighborhood's here. But yeah, normally it's not like this. I ended up with a really bad one because apparently it chooses one biome whenever it creates limbo. And in my case, it created limbo with the hell cows. You know, the, the Moo Moo Farm biome. So I was exceptionally unlucky in my limbo. Let's see here. There's nothing around here. I have a loot sack around here somewhere. Let's see here, looking for somewhere to go. Because I've got the whole army behind me. See, and you can see that the world slowly becomes this black stuff. I don't know if it also works on the loot sacks, as in if the loot sacks will become the black limbo stuff. I hope not, because that would be a serious problem with my stuff. Let's see if I can get these guys to walk into the hole. Well, a good number of them are. You can see I'm just running around now. Okay, moving around. And there we go, slain by a hell cow. But now at least you've seen what happens. In any event, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to pretend to go in the other door. And it will take us to... The multiplayer server world. Yeah, go away, Hecate. So let's go into the other world, shall we?